I think if there was a beer that I didn't like, I don't think I'd be making it. I think we kind of make beers that we like to drink. If it doesn't taste good to us, I don't see us brewing it, you know? It's, it's as simple as that. I'm Paul Segura, the brewmaster for Carl Strauss Brewing Company. Cheers. Brewed in San Diego, California. For us, in the context of Carl Strauss Brewing Company, pioneering spirit is doing things that haven't been done yet, it's brewing beers that, that are out there that are pushing the envelope of what beer actually is. Since I've been here, which is now 12 years, every year we've done over you know, 35, 40 different types of beer. So over the course of 23 years now that we've been in business, you can imagine how many different beers we've done. I think one of the things that makes Carl Strauss so unique is we just do a bunch of really terrific, outstanding beers. Double IPAs, Belgian quads, bourbon, barrel-aged beers. So I think what Carl Strauss stands for now is edgy but approachable. He's the brains and I'm the brawn. We get along very well, partly because we're so different. That thing that they have works really well. It's a great dynamic. Carl and our soul is absolutely about the values that Carl lived. Our next generation of brewers, especially with some of the Imperial Series beers that we're making these days, have really demonstrated a total commitment to the quality that we put into the beer. They hire good people and let them do their jobs, um, and that's pretty cool. That's it, I'm cutting out of the movie, Matt aren't I? <laughs> My name is Matt Johnson, and I'm the head brewer here at Carl Strauss Brewing Company. We like to share our beer. That's our passion. Every single one of the guys who works here as a brewer is passionate about their beer. Our work, our passion, it, our knowledge, it all kind of comes through to the finished beer, we hope. Paul, he's taught me to, you know, keep it light. This isn't serious, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I know that we don't look it, but we are actually educated. All the brewers here, we all know how to do everything from the raw product till it's packaged and out the door. My name is Brian Scott. I'm the packaging supervisor and equipment maintenance manager. He's kind of the gearhead of this whole place. Here at Carl Strauss, we all strive to take pride in our beer, and I think that shines through our packaging line. Our two QC guys are pretty much the last stop. If a beer is not within spec, it doesn't get packaged. This amount of quality control, most breweries our size do not get. In the lab, those guys are checking every batch of beer for everything you can imagine. We have all these instruments here. We have microscopes, we have spectral photometers, we have incubators, but you know, a person to go and taste it and smell it, they can tell you you have a problem before you know you have a problem. And also, they organize our tasting panel. The tasters are here to taste whether or not the whole run of this packaging was consistent. You know, for us to continue winning medals at the rate we have is pretty cool. We're psyched about it. We all went up on stage to receive these awards together as a team. And once we get back to the table, then of course, it's, you know, cheers to Carl. Just in 2011 alone, we won over 16 medals for our beers. Take that. <laughs> That's a hopper where we store we call it grist after it's been milled. Once we're done extracting all that juice, all the spent barley gets pumped to a tank on the outside of the brewery where Farmer John comes to pick it up and feeds his dairy cattle with it. This is part of their recycle program and 100% of this is utilized by the dairies. There's been a lot of expansion here in the last couple of years. So that's a good thing. All the changes that are happening here are indicative of of how much Carl Strauss is growing. You can see it all over Southern California. It's something that people really take pride in. They are San Diego's original microbrew. 23 years into it, they're still getting better. And all the people that I know that work in this organization, from sales to marketing to the head brewer and all the brewers, they're genuinely good people. You apply hipster to beer and it's people that are passionate about new, great, 
off of the mainstream type beers. Changing of the barrels is where we invite a limited number of people to our brewery and we take beer out of oak barrels that's been aging for a year and we put that into bottles and we put fresh beer into those oak barrels where that beer is then going to be aging for a year to commemorate our anniversary. Yeah, after 23 years in business, we're over 40,000 barrels of beer brewed, seven, soon to be eight different brewing facilities. We are turning our main brewery into a, a tourable facility. We're all about core values and beach cleanups. We partner with Surfrider and we are hoping to expand into Northern California. So it's a fun place, fun place, great people. Well, our plan for the future is pretty simple. We are going to make Carl now available to more people. And we'll also make sure that we will keep our pioneering spirit, that we will continue to develop new beers and new styles of beers that push the envelope of the industry. And that's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> Excuse me, everybody. Can I have your attention, please? On behalf of the Carl Strauss family, we'd like to say welcome to everybody tonight. This was the day that we opened up our downtown brewery 23 years ago. It was the first brewery to open up in the city of San Diego since Prohibition. Um, so it's very cool to see where the San Diego beer scene has, has come over the last 23 years. And for us, it's a, it's a scene that we're very excited and psyched to be part of. Cheers to Carl, cheers to beer, cheers to 23.